Hi. Now let's observe this. How to work with this Google Doodles browser-based application? Let's create an object as usual. So here I will give the name Doodles object. Next. Now object has been created. Double click on that. Now come to the application modeler as usual. Now click on a next. Now this one is observe this browser based Chrome and Firefox. This is the new one. So by default, we're going to work with browser based application Internet Explorer. Now next. And remember that this Internet Explorer version should be greater than nine. Then only it will work. Now the browser that is launched from an executable file. Always we need to use executable file. If it is running means it's already launched. And then if you are using already launched file, then it is here running. Now executable file. Next. Now observe this one. I explorer.exe. It means by default it is going to launch your internet explorer.exe. Now next. Now what it is asking, it is asking, please enter the URL, right? Now let's give the URL, https www.google.com. Now next, remaining everything will be next, next, next. Okay, finish. Now your application modeler has been created. Now, first step what we need to do in application modeler, we need to launch, right? Observe this, we need to launch the application first. Click on launch. Now, see this Internet Explorer open and then it has been launched. Now it is launching, right? Now, launch, when we are launching, when we created, launching will be with your main element so main element is there we can create a action here right so rename it action is launch to launch your application navigate shape and then give the link now double click on that navigate main element and then we need to launch as usual like how we have done for the windows application same thing let me close that existing one and then reset and then let's run this it has to launch your internet explorer see this it's launched then what we need to do we need to click on feeling lucky so we need to create an element for that if element is there then only we can perform a action action is click right click on this or press right button this is a button you can use press now let's come to this application modeler come to the element element name is feeling lucky identify when you identify observe the mode html mode default what is the mode we have html mode and the remaining modes also it will be there see this win32 ui automation mode accessibility and region but by default we are going to work with html mode which element we want to perform so i am feeling lucky see this normally when you use your mouse here automatically it will spy that element when you bring your mouse to that element it has to spy that but because of some other settings in this my laptop it is not properly showing so let me try to identify exact element i'm sorry this, this is a google search yep i am feeling lucky what we need to do to capture the element control left click now it is going to capture the properties observe the properties here attribute properties same where we don't have values you need to uncheck we have to uncheck right this is the default one and the next thing what we need to do additional parent url also we need to uncheck we will came to know in next application why we need to uncheck your parent url as well okay 
then highlight observe this it is highlighting exactly on that application one more time right to cross check okay. then apply okay right now we need to create a action for this right click new after the launch feeling lucky feeling lucky what we are performing here click so navigate now double click on this feeling lucky element action see this click center is it a single click or double click how come you will know that so when you are testing your application when you are doing manually what you are exactly doing the same thing you need to perform in our blue prism also now single click now reset let's observe this run this observe see this it clicked and then it went to this doodles page then this here you need to type so here this search doodles is a element and then you need to write here so to write we need a element come here again application modular element search doodles search doodle box right okay again come to identify now this one okay again some same issue so let me try to identify yep this one control left click coming to this uncheck the things whichever we don't want okay to cross check what we going to do highlight yes it's highlighting that area now apply okay then we need to create a action search box search window right window let it be search window what you are going to do here we need to type so when you want to type which shape we have to use we have to use right shape here come here double click on this use the element what you need to write when you are giving some information always should be in a double quotes mother's day mother's day okay click okay now let's run this and then check see this it has written mother's day next we need to click on this search box search box so again we need a element for this come here come to this application modular and then create a element search box or search just button we'll take button otherwise we'll get confused identify come here search button this one control left click now need to uncheck these things okay everything check highlight it's highlighting and then apply and then okay okay so now what we need to do there right click new is for search button search button what we are going to do navigate we need to click so we have to perform navigate search button come here click center right click okay let's observe this now run see this it clicked it displayed all the mother's days doodles in the google now we need to click on this image again we need to create a element for this now 
come to that application modular create an element this is for image identify come here now this is your image right this is the image control left click same thing okay done now apply okay now we need to click on that image click again navigate this is image now come to this image again navigate double click on this image observe this image and come to here click center click ok let's run this and then just observe so it is it clicked on the image then we have this date and then information we need to pick these two things this is one element this is one element right come here application modular come to the image come to the element this is for date identify come here for date yep date control left click apply okay the same way we need for information also let's create an element for this as well application modular date element information identify come here this is the information control left click okay. now again Sec. Okay. Let's cross check. It's working. But date, we need to cross check this. Attributes we didn't uncheck. Done. Okay. Everything is done. Now highlight. Yes. Now apply. And then okay done we have created all the elements right okay let's create actions for this image is done after the image we need a date right date click okay date what we need to do we need to read right we have to read so we are using read here now double click on this date element and then what you need get current value this is get current value and then store in data item this is for date right date it will store here okay now let's run this reset and then run it will get the date from there and then it will give you the information right the same way we need information also now if you observe one thing here we can create another action for information and then we can do new action and if your requirement is always you are going to use date and information together then no need to create a separate action what you can do is see this you can add one more thing here information and then get current value this is for information click on this see this now when you run the same thing you will get the data and information both in one action see this information we received and then there we have date understood right so if you all together like first name last name everything we need to implement it in one place then no need to do it separate separate actions 
right? So everything, every time when we are entering date, month, year, mandatory, then all three together, you can create it in one action, right? All the actions is done. Then what is the last one? Terminate. Terminate, nothing but a closing your application. When you are closing your application, give the link, navigate shape, which element you are going to use, main element always, and then terminate. So this, terminate, done. Now when you are running this, it is going to close your Google Doodles application. Let's observe this, done. It has been closed. Now, as per our requirement, we have created all the elements in your application modeler. For each and every element, we have created actions here. So next session, we'll see how to create a process for this. Thank you.